I was like, I'm crying. I'm. This is the first time I've ever cried at a sex scene. But <laughs> let's be honest, that is because of the full circle arc that your character does. Like it was so beautiful having Sandra O oh, like by your side throughout the whole journey of Killing Eve how did mm-hmm. that elevate the experience for you how does it still well what's incredible is like and I, I feel like you girls will know what I'm saying is like so like sometimes you get to set and you 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 can act with people and it can work well and and it can be great. And then sometimes, like a handful of times, you can meet someone and there is so much that goes unsaid. Like there's just like a really strong connection. Um, and, I, and I feel like I found that, felt that with Sandra the moment that I auditioned with her. It was the same with Kim Bodnia, you know? And, and um, you know, in, in this series where we, we introduced Villanelle's mother, like those relationships where you don't have to say an awful lot you know we don't actually see each other an awful lot when we're off set but then when when you're on set and you're doing the material it's all kind of it's all kind of fizzing away but she's been incredible to me you know to think of where the show started and you know I, I remember her and Phoebe being like this show could be kind of a big thing like you know (laughs) like we're just just warning you so you can like prepare yourself um so she's always kind of put her arm around me in that way um so yeah I'm interested to see where where series four goes then do you have like a sort of shorthand with the way you work together now does that sort of make any like really I mean there are so many intense scenes in Killing Eve but Mm. is that just so much easier when you know how someone works or does it not make a difference you approach every scene with a fresh no it it definitely does like and I I, it makes me think of the the ballroom scene in in season three you know that was a kind of huge moment for them um and when we were figuring out the dance and the physicality and it all kind of just fell together like a a puzzle you Mm -hmm. know it was also probably the closest you had the the bus scene but that was the most physical they'd been with each other um which was really beautiful and it wasn't like we had to really think about it it all just kind of um it just was you know I think mm-hmm. you just you do you just you just feel it but I'm very much like that like I don't know about you guys and how, how you prepare and stuff but I like to know what I'm doing like you know my lines and etc but then I very much like to just surrender on the day and see what the other person's given me yeah mm. yeah that does tend to be like super fun experiences too like yeah just and, and I love like yeah just the the opportunities for it to be like a live space because so mm. much of set life is like it has to be this and then we're getting this shot so I, I love mm. hearing that process and that you like that as well just mm. knowing the foundation and then just adding a little bit of flavor to it that's cool I like that yeah. and that feeling of what you both said about Steve and about Sandra is that just that feeling of it's an easy word to use, but collaboration so that you, Mm -hmm. you can do jobs where everybody's very nice. Everybody's doing their bit, but you can come away feeling, I don't know, slightly cold Mm -hmm. or like, um, it's worked and, but it's only gone to a certain level. But when you meet those people that either it's because you have trust in them or because you've worked with them for so long and you have that shorthand, when you get to share that with somebody and make something together, I think it's it's my favourite feeling when that happens mm. and you get to do that. I mm. think as well, that that's like, as I've recently done something that's kind of very relevant to today's world and kind of has like a really important message, which I feel like both of your pieces have. And I have to say, like, being a part of that, that has a big message and is really important is a lot of heart it's like a whole other quality Mm. to the experience but also to the way in which I feel people come at it you know there's like no ego it's like this thing is bigger than us all you know and I I I, Mm. I felt when I watched both of your pieces I really really I really felt that Jodie was saying how she was in tears watching Haley's one of Haley's final sex scenes, which is. I mean, no, that's what I was aiming for. I, I was aiming to make Jodie come and cry, and I was. Like, <laughs> I was like, I'm crying. 
and this is the first time I've ever cried at a sex scene. But <laughs> let's be honest, that is because of the full circle arc that your character does. Like it was so beautiful to see where she started, like the, you know, all the kind of hurdles throughout the way, especially with her relationship. And then that moment, <laughs> I could cry now. That moment <laughs> at the end, it was, just, it was so beautiful. But that was because of Thank your, you, you know, she did the whole, whole full circle. Yeah, I mean, also mm. what's so brilliant, Hayley, about the role of Jolene is just how fallible she is and we can't always trust her. Why do you think it's important that she's not a hero and she's, you know, not perfect? Well, because nobody is, are they? Yeah. I mean, nobody's, nobody's, <laughs> nobody's perfect. <laughs> and there is never only one thing going on inside a person. Um, and just thinking back to what you said before Rihanna about um, what I discovered in the in the research, what I discovered in the process of playing her um, was it seemed that the more we shot, the more it felt like um, there was another direction that she was being pulled in. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that she's a character who at any one time has got 14 different hooks stuck inside her being pulled in 14 different ways. Um, and I think that she is a version of a hero um, because I think that she comes at life, she makes questionable choices, sometimes bad choices, destructive choices, but she has a heart that is in, insistent on doing what she believes is the right thing. Mm. Um, and of course, there's so many moral questions that come along with that. Mm. But it was like, yeah, there's, there's never just one thing going on with her. Yeah. Um, Letitia, I wanted to just pick up on Jodie's point. That scene where Althea sort of defends herself in court is incredible and it's so satisfying because she's holding her own amongst these men who think they're superior. How important is the show in terms of empowering the next generation through education and process, that message? It's so, it's so important. Um, I remember when we started to go through like the promotional stage of it um, last year, earlier last year. And then like we were just submitting to film festivals and getting the feedback. And then um, I was just speaking to Steve quite briefly. And he said, cause this is around the time that the tragic um, event of, and the tragic passing of Flo James, uh, George Floyd. And he literally said, um, you know, it feels like, life is imitating art and art is imitating life and we didn't plan for our project to be out during that time we were just trying to look back at um what happened the events of the 1970s and how we can learn from it and able to have change to move forward and it was just a poignant time it was just so important mm -hmm. for us to have that project out at that time so I feel in a nutshell it's like like Jody said, you know, like like, like my my fellow uh, um, oh, I wanted to say cast members. Maybe that's gonna happen. We need you to speak it into existence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rihanna, come up with the idea. I'm there. <laughs> I'm all over this. We are down. <laughs> Basta, let's get some finance behind this. <laughs> Um, but yes, yeah, just like like my fellow um, my fellow cast members um, <laughs> right here with me, you know, we believe that you know everything has a, its its moment and its time in creation. Do you know what I mean? Like everything is created for a purpose, and we did it from our hearts. Do you know what I mean? Jody did her 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 project and the story and dedication from her heart and it just happens that this is a time where everybody's resonating with it same with Hayley mm. so it's like small acts is just a beautiful um a beautiful love letter to our ancestors to our elders yeah. uh, everybody that's got, got gone before us and 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 done it and um and and everybody who has um done it prior um and for the generation now it's for everybody past present future and it's just important to make projects like this from the heart and just hope that it will resonate and touch the generation and touch the people. And it just has. And we're so grateful for that. <laughs>